What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the logical AND and the logical OR operators in Bash. Now if you aren't familiar with these terms, logical OR and logical AND, they are operators from Boolean logic, which is the fundamental logic of all computers, or at least all non-quantum computers. And the operands of this Boolean logic are of course true and false. So I've gone ahead and created some truth tables inside of this script so that I can illustrate the basic idea behind this. So of course we know if we have a value that is true by itself that is equal to true and a value that is false by itself is equal to false. But if we start anding these values together true and true is equal to true which makes a lot of sense you probably could have guessed that one but true and false evaluates to false same thing if we were to flip the order false and true evaluates to false and false and false of course evaluates to false whenever we are anding together these boolean operands any time that there is something false inside of this statement, the product is going to be false. Even if we had multiple ands here, because you could do something like and true and true and so on and so forth, this entire thing would still evaluate to false because of the one false statement that is here. And with or, we get the opposite effect. So true or true evaluates to true. True or false evaluates to true. Flipping it to do false or true evaluates to true. And if we had multiple falses here, as many as we want, this entire statement is still going to evaluate to true because of this single true statement that we have here. So with and, if there's a single false, the whole thing becomes false. With true, if there is a single true, then the whole thing becomes true. Of course, that's just the basics of it. You can also put them in parentheses to do more advanced logic, but I just wanted to cover the basics here with you guys. So I've gone ahead and implemented this here in bash because that's just the fundamental logic there's going to be different implementations for whichever programming language and a lot of the time people will do something like this not just in bash but i've seen people do this even in a lot of tutorials here on youtube with different programming languages uh, people will do if true variable is equal to true then do all this here but you actually do not have to do this in i'm gonna say any programming language at least all the programming languages i've worked with it's unnecessary to compare a boolean value to true or false you can just do this which will evaluate to the same thing so i'm gonna go ahead and comment everything out real quick just to demonstrate that and going to run this script here and they both print this variable is true so you see you don't actually have to do the comparison here you can just write this which saves you some syntax and well these days the storage size isn't really that big of a deal but I just like the scripts to be as minimal as possible. And it shows that you know what you're doing. So we come down here and we have the logic implemented with AND and OR. So in Bash, you do this double ampersand to represent AND. So on your keyboard, this should be SHIFT and 7 to do the double ampersand or for each ampersand. And this whole thing, true and false, is of course going to evaluate to false. So let's go ahead and, didn't mean to close it. Uh, let's do a new tab, M, door. All right. 
Sorry about that, didn't mean to close it out. So you see where we have our true, 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 and then we have the false where we do our and comparison. Same thing for the other and comparison because we compared false and false, so that evaluates to false as well. Then we have the implementation of the logical or. So the logical or is a double pipe symbol. So this is the key on most US keyboards is right above the enter key. The normal key is a backslash, so you need to hold shift and then press it to get the pipe symbol. This represents or, so of course true or false is equivalent to true, and true or true is of course gonna be equivalent to true as well. So let me go ahead and show you guys an actual example of where you might end up using something like this in a shell script. So I've got this script here, gun store. And if we just walk through the logic of this script here, so it's gonna ask us to enter our age and that's going to read our input from the terminal and it's going to ask us, are you a felon or are you innocent? We'll have to read that input from the terminal as well. And we go ahead and declare this year's variable which is going to be used later in the script. So it's going to check if our age is greater than or equal to 18 and our criminal status is equal to innocent, we can purchase a gun. If our criminal status is innocent but our age is less than 18, then you're too young, kid. You gotta come back in that certain amount of years. So let's go ahead and run this just to show you how it works. So it wants to know my age. Say I'm 25 and am I innocent? Sure, as far as I know. So I may purchase a firearm. But if I was too young, say if I was 16, and it doesn't even matter if I'm innocent, you're too young, kid, you gotta come back in two years. Let's say if I'm 88 years old, I'm an old guy, but I am a felon, F-E-L-O-N. You're a felon can't sell you a firearm. So this is the implementation of logical or and logical and, as well as a pretty real world example of when you would use it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like on it and be sure to share it with one of your friends.